So I originally went over to Pho An Vietnamese restaurant on 52 to get a bun mi, which is a French infused Vietnamese sandwich. They don't have it on the menu anymore. I didn't know that. So I had to pivot quickly. I didn't know where to go. So I actually went over to 92 Go on Irby Street where I have never been before. So what I got was their dumplings and um, a beef bulgogi bowl. So let's start off with this dumpling. Now, I've been interested to try this place since they opened. I just haven't made it over there. It's an odd menu. It's a very odd menu, man. Hold on. We got like a peanut maple thing going here. hot I'm in the parking lot like right next door um just wanted to get this fresh Heroes Hideout has my favorite dumpling in town but hey these are not bad I'm really digging this sauce right here Got a sesame oil maple syrup thing going. Hey, these aren't bad. I didn't know what to expect. Like I said, it's a very strange menu. 92 Go is a franchise. So they've got chicken wings, crab legs, jumbo shrimp, but then they've also got their Korean cuisine, which is this beef bulgogi bowl here. They've even got cheesesteaks. Now this is gonna be their beef bulgogi. And I don't know what to expect. Beef bulgogi is a traditional Korean dish, marinated beef, the soy sauce based marinade, cooked over high heat. Konnichiwa also has a beef bulgogi bowl here in Florence. Well, this has the beef, noodles, corn, romaine lettuce with the sauce, and rice. There's rice up under there. Really salty. Just certain pieces, though. That one piece I have is really salty. The next one really wasn't. Korean food is really good if you've never had it. I knew a Korean family at one point in time, some years back, made their own kimchi. I remember being over there and having kimchi pancakes, which was like a pancake batter made really thin, almost like a crepe, with the kimchi in there. You just eat it like that. All right, so just being in the old Applebee's building, I already put them behind the eight ball for me. I was skeptical about some things, you know. I'll say that they've got a really diverse menu, so you got to try different things to really fully evaluate what they're doing. Uh, the beef's pretty salty. It tastes a little thrown together and then just packed with sodium. The noodles are a little greasy. I personally could do without the romaine lettuce. That doesn't serve a purpose for me. But you do get a lot of meat in there. It's a lot of food for $11. And it's certainly not terrible. You can see I'm eating it. Really, really salty though. And I know it's a soy sauce based dish, but it's salty. These dumplings, particularly with this sauce here, I didn't catch what this sauce is. Assuming it's just a sesame oil sauce, but um, these are pretty nice. Nothing extraordinary about them, but they're just good. So one thing about recording in your car, even in the beginning of October in the state of South Carolina, is it's sweltering hot, so my camera overheated. So I just brought it back to the studio to finish up, and after having some time to let all that settle, I have some final thoughts for you. If I was going to get beef bulgogi, or the closest thing to it that we have in Florence, at least at this point from what I know, I would still go to Konnichiwa. And if I was desiring a dumpling, I would still go to Hero's Hideout to get my dumpling. Now these are the reasons why. As far as the dumplings goes, they were all right. They were pretty straightforward, but they were very basic. So the stuffing is pretty standard, nothing to really complain about there. And they're deep fried, but there's nothing 
gourmet about them to the extent that it makes you feel like, man, these are handcrafted with excellence and premium sourced ingredients. They're just kind of basic. Their white sauce is a little bit more flavorful than some other white sauces you had. Some people are actually going to like theirs more than some of the other options in town from what I've tasted. So that's a positive. And that sesame maple syrup sauce that they had going was also really good. I actually liked that a lot. And as far as the beef bulgogi goes, for me, it was too oily and too salty. Konnichiwa's version for me is just a little bit cleaner. It's a little bit lighter. And so for me personally, that wouldn't be my go-to. Now, let me say this, because some people think it's a good idea to just come out and wholesale slam people and say, this is terrible. I'd be willing to bet that that restaurant, 92 Go, is most popular for their wings, and I could even see their fish and chicken tenders slash fries baskets also being very popular. In fact, their crab legs could even be popular. I think what's going on, they've got a strange, diverse menu. I went with the Korean Asian side of their menu, and it just wasn't for me. But I bet that most people that go to that restaurant, that's not the portion of their menu that they're ordering from. I bet most people are getting what I saw from the customers that were in there when I went. There were four different customers that were either there when I got there, a combination of there when I got there or ordered after I did. And I think everybody had wings and fries, I think. So I was the only person that didn't. So that's 20% of a small sample size that I bet represents most of the business that they do. And I also bet that if I had gone with what they're probably most known for and popular for, I would have been more pleased with what I got. I just bet that their wings, fried fish, possibly their chicken tenders, and maybe the crab legs, the shrimp, their fried rice might be something that people like too, honestly. So yeah, I'm not going to give it the highest rating for me. I would say that it was interesting though. I've never been and now I have. It's kind of what I thought it would be, but I'm always big on giving credit where credit's due. And I will say this, my food was fresh, it was hot, and the order was correct. And you know what? In an environment where a lot of people can't do those things, I think we need to give restaurants credit whenever they are able to execute what you would think would be the fundamentals. So look, they've been open for a little while now, a few years. They seem to still be going strong, so they must be doing something right that people appreciate. But for me personally, it wasn't what I had today. So look, if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, please give it a like. That really helps the channel out a whole bunch, and we really do appreciate it. And I appreciate all the support we've been getting from a lot of you over recent weeks with everything that we're doing over here. And I'm glad that you're finding different things of value out of this content that we're putting out. I look forward to seeing y'all around. In the meantime, y'all take care and God willing, we'll see you on the next video.